Hi, old guy in shed here. Okay, I did promise you something different. And you might notice, uh, I'm now going to move away. And look at that, I'm still here. I now have somebody behind the camera. Uh, a person, a real person. Now I don't know what we're going to call this person because I don't know what pronouns to use. You can get locked up for the wrong pronouns these days. Uh, needless to say, she's a very attractive young lady who knows how to use the camera. That's enough for me. Right, so at last I feel I can take you around the shed properly and we can come over here and we can actually talk about the little red three and a half and the little red three and a half hasn't moved. Bless its cotton socks. Um, I really have got to get on with other work to get at that one. Okay, so that, that's a little... This one, the little 250 um, two-stroke guzzy, is leaving on Saturday to a new home. I've sold it. Uh, the, one of the bikes I said I would never sell has been sold. I am such a tart. But there we go, it, it's quite interesting um, how things are moving quite rapidly. The reason why this is having to go, not having to go, that's unfair. It's unfair on the bike, it's not having to go. I'm just running out of time and this is finished, as it were. I've got the Ducati to finish. I've got the um, MV Augusta to finish. This needs to be done. I've got a problem with the front bloody brakes. Uh, it was all ready to be set up for registration, then I have a problem with the brakes. I've got my Falcone here, which is going to... Oh, a note for your diary, guys, um, those of you in the UK. Um, it's going to the, the Bath and West show on the 26th, 7th, I think it is, that weekend of this month. Uh, any of you do turn up, oh, it would be lovely to see you uh, and have a chat. I'll be wandering around and loitering around the, the Motor Guzzi stand. Uh, and if you want to have a chat about this or anything else or any of the other bikes, or in fact just talk bollocks, I'm, I'm in for it. Uh, as you can see, we're taking bits off motorbikes, comes off the, the Breva. This bike is a, I, I love it as a bike it's a great bike to ride but one little thing that has annoyed me about it it's been resprayed and whoever did it just used the pearlescent paint which gets attacked by petrol and that really is an annoyance so we've really got to be very careful i've got to clean it all the time so i'm going to take it apart all the white bits and i'm going to two pack lacquer it to protect it and that, that I think should end that because at the end of the day as I've said in the past we don't own these bikes we're custodians because these bikes are going to be here long after I'm gone that being the case um, I need to, to protect them with modernity like two-pack lacquer decent oils decent, you know, everything that polishes that work things we didn't used to have and I think it's a good thing to do. Um, and I think if you and I, well, I say you and I, I mean, you, me, all of us who really are interested in these old bikes, want to keep them alive, we've, we've got to start really using modern techniques to keep them alive. Uh, it, it's okay being traditionalist, and I have no problem with that, if you've got one bike. It's easy, you can be traditional. But if you've got eight of the bloody things, you've got to start thinking a little bit outside the box, you know, you've got to be a little bit cleverer. Um, and so that, that's kind of where I'm into now. Now, one thing that is happening, uh, now I've got this wonderful assistant, producer, camera person, I don't know, whatever I've got, it, it's somebody to help me get these things um, out to you guys a lot better. So we're going to be doing some road work in the spring I hope. Um, so that should be more interesting. Uh, and also it's going to allow me to get more and more 
stuff into the into the ether, I suppose. Yeah, out there. Um, what I need, and please say so in the comments, what you guys want to see. I will try and provide what you want to see in my videos. It, it's getting to the point now where I'm going, right, I've talked about the Ducati, talked about the MV, talked about the Falcone, talked about the Nord. What do you guys want? Uh, do you want more blithering and just talking utter nonsense about my past and what I've, what I've done and where I've come from and how I've got here to this point? Or do you want a, the technical stuff and you know, how do MVs compare to Guzzies to Ducati? Yeah, I don't know, I don't know. Um, please let me know in the comments what you guys really want to see and I will do my best to uh, produce that. I'm not promising I can because I'm not that clever but we'll have a go at it. We'll have a go at it. Um, the production of all of this has got to get a little bit better. I, I'm not being professional. I'm desperately trying to keep true to who I am with what all this is. And all this is what I enjoy doing. I like being in my shed. I like looking up for my stuff. I like playing with the bikes. The little 250 Marini is going to get dragged out again as soon as the weather breaks. And um, this is what I want to do with you guys. If you don't want to listen to any of this bollocks, say so. Uh, I will listen. Um, I will listen, take note and probably ignore. Um, but it's worth a shot, isn't it? Yeah? Unless you give me something to go on, I'll just carry on with what I'm doing. Uh, and which is okay, I quite like what I do. I quite like what I do. Um, I am going to try and get some more interesting stuff on the bench. I'm not going to show you the bench just now really because uh, it's in a bit of a state at the moment because I've been doing things. But anyway, there we go. I'm going to leave it at that. So please remember to like and subscribe. Uh, and like I've said before, if you are a subscriber already, thank you very much. Tell your mate. Um, and, and press the little bell for the Notifications. I always forget that word, notification. Such a big word. I keep forgetting it. Uh, but yes, notifications, like, and subscriptions. That's what I need to keep this all going. And we'll talk to you again very, very soon. Take care of yourselves. This is Old Guy in the Shed signing off. Bye.